Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining us right now. Amen. We're having a bit of some technical issues, but um, I think everything is well now. Invite someone to join us at this moment. Hallelujah. We are praying this very morning and we are lifting up the name of the Lord. We are blessing the Lord, giving him praise, giving him adoration in our lives, in our families, and everything that concerns us. Let the name of the Lord be glorified right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Just bless him and lift him up, lift him up in your life, lift him up in your life, acknowledge him for who he is and for what he has done in the name of Jesus Christ. Just acknowledge the Lord in your life, bless the Lord in your life. The psalmist said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, praise his holy name. So wherever you are, join us right now and let's lift up his name. Let's bless his name right now, let's bless his name. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord right now in the name of Jesus. Just bless him, just bless him. Acknowledge him in your life, acknowledge him in your life right now. Thank you, Father. We bless you, we lift you up, we glorify your name among all other names. There is no God beside you, oh God. Let your name be blessed, let your name be glorified, let your name be magnified. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, rain upon us this morning, oh God. And throw yourselves in our life in this very day in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody lift him up and bless him and glorify him, adore his name in the name of Jesus Christ. Lamandi Zikarama Zikarabasi and Dayalaba. Father, we bless you, we give you the praise, we adore your name, O God. Rima Kata Yala Boske di Yala Balados, Inda Yala Diosi and the Yala Balados. We bless you, Lord, we glorify you, my King and my Master. Latian Dea Zikarama Sikataka Yala Basikataya. Limros Yandi Yala Balados, Sikataka Yala Balados. Somebody bless the Lord, somebody bless him, somebody bless him. Lift him up, lift him up in your life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Labandia Zikaraba Sikata Kayala Barado, Librandis Kadiala Barados, Latindia Zikarabarado Zikata Kayala Barados. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord, thank you, my God, thank you, Lord, Lamaya Ladio Zikata Kayala Barados, Libandia Zikata Kayala Barados, Likayala Brondia Zikaraba Barados. Lekaya la branda ya zika taka ya la baradot imama la dio zika ya la baradot lebande ya zika taka ya la baradot in the name of jesus in the name of jesus la bayanda ya zika taka ya la baradot la banda ya zika taka ya la baradot in the name of jesus in the name of jesus rabaka tu zika taka ya la baradot kababa la bra zika taka ya la baradot lebande ya zika taka ya la baradot Liba ba 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 la ba la ro zika taka ya la ba la ba matinde ya zika ra ba la ro matayanda ya zika ra ba la ro liba ba 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 la ba zika taka ya la ba la ro liba ba di ya zika ra ba la ro zika taka ya la ba la banda ya liba katwa zika taka ya la ba liba ba la ba zika taka ya la ba la ro latinde ya zika taka ya la ba la ro in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Ramas Kudus Kidia Zikama Ladia Zikara Baradot. We bless you, Lord. We bless your name. We bless your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, Kababa Labros Katia Zikara Baradot. Kayala Baraba Sikata Kayala Baradot. Kayala Baraba Sikata Kayala Baradot. Makata Kayala Baradot. Likababa Labada Baradot. Sikata Kayala Baradot. In the name of Jesus. David prayed a prayer. In the Psalm number 92, and he says, That my head shall you anoint with fresh oil. He said, I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Fresh oil. Yesterday's oil will not do for today. Last year's oil, last year's anointing will not do for today's mission, for today's assignment. So our prayer is that, Father, give us fresh oil fresh oil 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Fresh anointing upon our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, your car cannot drive on the same oil all throughout the whole year or even all throughout the whole month. At a certain point, we need to stop and put in fresh oil, fresh gas. So David prayed and said, I shall be anointed with fresh oil. We are praying this very day and the prayer is that my father, my maker, anoint me with fresh oil, with fresh oil. I receive fresh oil over my life, fresh anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive today's anointing, today's oil upon my life in the name of Jesus. My father, give me the unction for today's work, for today's assignment in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yesterday's oil will not do. I receive today's oil, today's oil for today's assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. Open up your mouth and pray right now for fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh anointing upon your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Fresh anointing, fresh anointing. Oh yes, Lord. Receive fresh oil, receive fresh oil over your life, over your life. Mahandus Kadia la Baraba Sikata Kaya Labush Lebron Dia Sikata Kaya la Baranos Fresh oil law, fresh oil lord, fresh anointing, fresh anointing, Kaya la Bros Kata Yala Baraba, Kaya la Barano Sikaya la Bara Baranos, Kaya la Bara Barano Sikata Kaya la Baranos, Mahandus Gayanda Yazianda Yala Baranos, Kaya la Bara Baraba Sikata Kaya la Baranos, Kaya la Bara Barano Sikata Kaya la Baranos, Kaya la Bara Barano Sikata Kaya la Baranos. Kayana bara bara no sikata kayana bara no kayana brazi kata kayana bara no kayana bara bara ba sikata kayana bara no kayana bara bara ba sikata kayana ba in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus kapa tu kapa ta kayana bara kayana ba sikayana ba sikata kayana bara ba kayana bara bara ba sikata kayana bara ba kayana bara ba sikata kayana bara no kayana bara bara ba sikata kayana bara ba Kayana bara bara ba shika yana bara ba kayana bara bara ba shika yana ba shika ta kayana ba ka ba tu shika ta kayana ba ka ba tu kayana bara ba lebran de ya shika ta kayana bara kayana bara ba shika yana bara kayana bara ba shika yana bara ba shika yana ba kayana bara ba shika ta kayana bara ba kayana bara ba shika yana ba shika yana ba kayana bara ba shika ta kayana ba kayana bara ba shika yana bara ba lebran de ya la bara bara ba shika ta kayana ba in the name of Jesus, fresh anointing, fresh anointing, fresh anointing, fresh anointing, fresh anointing. Rabaka tu azikata ya, rabaka tu azikata ya la ba la ba. Kapan tu azikata kaya la ba, kapa pa 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 ya la ba la la. Kaya la ba la ba shi kaya la ba la ba, kaya la ba la ba la ba shi kaya la ba la ba, kaya la ba la ba shi kata kaya la ba la ba, kaya la ba la ba shi kata kaya la ba la ba. Kapando ya zikata ya, rekaba katu a zikata ya, kapando ziganda ya, kaya la ba la ba la shi kata ya la ba, kaya la ba la ba la shi kata kaya la ba, Lebron da ya la ba la ba la. Kaya la ba la ba la ba shi kata kaya la ba le kaba ba la ba shi kata kaya la ba kapantu ya kapanta ya kapanta ya kapanto skidio shi kata ya rapanta ya shi kata ya siya ripas kata ya shi kata ya la ba siya nda ya la ba skidia siya. The Bible says, when the anointing comes, the yoke shall be destroyed. When the I uh, when the anointing comes, the yoke shall be destroyed and the burden shall be lifted the yoke shall be destroyed not broken but destroyed and the burden shall be lifted we are praying a yoke is anything that sits upon you and does not allow you to have freedom it is a bondage it is something that restricts you it is something that causes you to rely on someone for your breakthrough, to rely on someone for your direction in life, 
for what you will eat. It is a bondage. We are praying this very day. Whatever yoke is in our life, the Bible says, when the anointing come, when the presence of the Holy Spirit take hold of you, that yoke shall be destroyed. And any burden that was accumulated as a result of the yoke shall be lifted this very day. Let every yoke in our life be destroyed by reason of the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the anointing eradicate and destroy any yoke in our life and any burden be lifted, be lifted in the name of Jesus Christ, of Jesus Christ. Open up your mouth and declare it right now under the covering of the superior blood of the living Christ, my Father, my Maker, I command, I command any yoke in my life to be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus Christ, of Jesus Christ, of Jesus Christ. I invoke the anointing of the Holy Spirit, of the Holy Spirit to destroy any yoke seated upon my life, my marriage, my finances, my breakthrough be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Open up your mouth and speak to the Lord. Speak to the Lord. Speak to the Lord, child of God. Speak to the Lord right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the anointing free you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus says that when the anointing comes, the Bible said that when the Holy Ghost comes, he will direct you in all truth. We pray this very day, let the power of the Holy Spirit navigate your life throughout this month. As we are coming to a closure of this month, let the power of the Holy Spirit guide us and lead us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will end this month strong. You will end this month in success. You shall end this month in achievement. You will not regret this month. You shall not be disappointed this month. Anything that is working against you this month, let the power of the Holy Spirit turn it around in your favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, open up your mouth and pray right now. Let the Spirit of God come upon you right now and make a difference in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, David, after that he had committed a horrible sin and he is at the verge of losing his kingdom and there is a curse resting on his family. David turned to God in prayer and he began to pray and he said, Cast me not away from your presence. He said unto God, Take not your Holy Spirit away from me, and renew thou, O God, a steadfast spirit in me. David said, Do not take your Holy Spirit away from me. I may lose everything, but the Holy Spirit, I can't lose it. I can't lose the Spirit of God. Because if you have the Spirit of God, anything that you lost can be recovered. So David said, you can take anything, but let me keep the Holy Spirit in my life. We are praying this very day that let the entrance of the Spirit of God cause an explosive change in my life, in your life, in the name of Jesus Christ. We are praying for a tangible transformation in our life by reason of the Holy Spirit in our life. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are praying that at this very moment, let the Spirit of the Most High overpower us. In the name of Jesus Christ, that you can feel His presence right now in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, this very moment, I yield myself, my body, my soul, and my spirit into your hands. Change me, transform me in the name of Jesus Christ. Open up your mouth right now and pray right now that the Spirit of God will come upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the transforming power of the Holy Spirit take hold of you right now in the name of Jesus. Ramaz Kata Zikarama Katua Sikataya. Open up your mouth and pray 
if you can pray in the dialect of the Holy Spirit, just open up your mouth and pray. If you can pray in any language, any tongue, just lift up your voice and pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mahantus kataya si kataya la bros kadia ziandaya ramas kadende yezikerebo kaisi kataya. Let the power of the Holy Spirit infiltrate our lives right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything in our life that is at the verge of collapse, let the Spirit of God ignite it, awaken it, and stir it up in the name of Jesus Christ. Sakarabasi kataya, lebros kataya sata kayalaba in the name of Jesus Christ. Paul wrote to Timothy as a way of encouragement. And he says, Son Timothy, stir up the giftings of God that is inside of you, inside of you. Stir it up. We are praying this very day. There are giftings. Some are loaded with giftings and talents, but those giftings are fast asleep. We are praying this very day. As Paul said unto Timothy, let the giftings in us be awakened. Let them come alive. Let them be stirred. Let them be provoked. Let the giftings be awoken. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray right now that we shall be productive and fruitful as a result of the giftings that Jehovah has invested in us. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to pray right now and declare right now, my Father, my my maker, I command any giftings, any talents inside of me to be awoken, to be stirred up in the name of Jesus Christ. I command any giftings inside of me to come alive, to come alive, to come alive in the name of Jesus. Let the giftings come alive in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to begin to pray right now and begin to provoke the giftings inside of you to come alive. Let the giftings in you be woke up right now. There is more inside of you. There is better inside of you. There is greater works inside of you. Let those greater works be ignited. In the name of Jesus Christ, we stir up the flames and the fires inside of us. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the plans of God inside of us be a walking today be stirred up today in the name of Jesus Christ Sakarabos Lamras Kataya Labantaya Ziandaya Karabarabarados Librantaya Ziandaya Spirit of the Living God Spirit of the Living God Sakarabodoshikaraba in the name of Jesus Christ I want to continue our dreams and interpretation um today's Friday God bless you for joining us. This is Pastor Cephas, Honeywell Worship Center. And this is our 90 days call to the altar. And it's day number 25. Day number 25. Glory be to God for that. Um, so we are talking about dreams. We are talking about dreams. And I said unto you that dreams requires interpretation. Dreams requires interpretation. It is important that you understand um, your dreams. The reason is because a dream can give you assurance. A dream can give you encouragement. A dream can give you comfort. Have you ever woke from a dream and you feel that your spirit is at peace? In fact, you feel so excited. I mean, the dream blessed you. The dream blessed you. You can have a dream and wake up blessed so God does things in us during our dreams things takes place there are also demonic attacks that takes place whilst we sleep the Bible says when men went to sleep the Bible says an enemy came to plant evil seeds in the night so evil things happens in the night whilst we sleep so there can be evil attacks in the night. At the same time also, from Genesis to Revelation, God has been speaking through dreams. Not just that, he has promised by reason of prophecy that he will speak to us in dreams. 
So a dream can give you assurance. It can bring you encouragement. A dream can bring you comfort. In other words, in a dream, God can give you encouragement in your dream. God can strengthen you in your dream. A dream can also give you exhortation and correction. Have you ever had a dream and in the dream someone was ministering to you in the dream? Someone was preaching to you in a dream. When you woke up from the dream, you felt admonished, you felt exhorted, and you felt corrected in the dream. And so a dream can also work in that manner. A dream can also be a foreshadowing of the future. In other words, a dream can tell you that which is ahead of you. We spoke about this yesterday. This is why it is important that we understand our dreams. This is why it is important that we don't take our dreams for granted because dreams are gifts from God. A dream is a gift from God and it is throughout the scriptures. But we cannot figure out the interpretation of the dream through human wisdom or human knowledge. The Bible says that the interpretation of a dream belongs to God. That is what Joseph told the baker and the cup bearer. He said unto them, that's not interpretation belongs to God. The interpretation of a dream belongs to God. A dream has a language that only God can help us to navigate is understanding. Now, when you receive a dream, a dream can also bring you deliverance. Sometimes in our dreams, God gives us deliverance in our dreams. Dreams can also give you healing. Sometimes in your dream, you will find out that someone touched you or in fact, an angel of the Lord visited you or something happened during the dream and you wake up and you are physically strong again or you are healed or you are healed either in your body or in your spirit life you find out that healing has taken place inside of you a dream can add to you dreams can subtract from you dreams can leave you the way they find you that is why it is important to understand your dreams dreams can waste you you can you can wake up from a dream and you feel defeated the whole day. You can wake up from a dream and you feel moody. You can wake up from a dream and you feel discouraged. So a dream can waste you. A dream can destroy you. That is why you must understand your dream because those dreams where you see danger in your dream, you see something bad in your dream. When you wake up, you don't have to be afraid. The reason is because a dream gives you advanced information. And once you have received this information, you can operate with it. So often at times we say that God reveals that he may deliver. God reveals to deliver. In other words, if God reveals something to you, it doesn't matter how bad the dream is, he intends to bring deliverance. That is why... Dreams are very essential. A dream can promote you. You can have a dream and in the dream there is a promotion. God promotes you in your dream. When you wake up, you get a letter or you get a phone call or you go to work and that day you are being promoted. You can also be demoted in a dream. You can have a dream and you can find out that you were fired in your dream. You go to work and that same day you were fired. You were fired. And so a dream can warn us. Dreams can turn us away from wrongdoings. A dream can keep our life from distraction because it gives us a foreshadowing of the things ahead of us. And once we have this advanced information, we can pray about it and we can also correct ourselves. Dreams can preserve our lives from the pit. The book of Job. The Bible said that God gives us dreams so that he may preserve our lives from the pit. So today I'm going to go back into interpreting some dreams. And I'm going to put a number on the screen as well. And you can send in a dream. Let me check my time. We have 15 minutes. Um, you can send in a dream. And I'll help you with interpretation 
of that dream as well. But I was sharing with you. Let me go up to my what I have written down for my notes. Now, if you dream and you see so many snakes moving around you in the dream, it means the enemy is using sexual relationships to harass your life. This is also a serpentine spirit. And this normally means that um, there is an attack on your relationships. There is an attack on your relationship, marriage, and all those things. It is a serpentine spirit. This is a very um, demonic spirit. And, you know, we, we find it um, in the scriptures. And um, we, we, we found a woman in the Bible, a young damsel. The Bible said that she could prophesy, she could do all kinds of things. But later on, the Bible says that uh, Paul cast that spirit out of her. Scripture tells us that it was a serpentine spirit that was in the young girl. The Bible explicitly tells us that it was a serpentine spirit in that young damsel that was working with her. So that spirit can cause a lot of havoc in different means and different ways. So if you are in a dream and you find a lot of snakes moving under your feet or you feel the presence of a snake on your bed and so forth and so on, you got to vigorously pray. If necessary, declare a day or two of a fast and pray when you go into a dream like that. Now, the next thing also, if you dream and you are breastfeeding strange children in a very mysterious way, it means that your virtue is being drawn out of you. Your virtue is being withdrawn out of you, taken away from you. Um, that is a dream that you want to pray about. Now, if you dream and you see yourself walking barefooted, um, in other words, you, you know, you are walking barefooted, your feet is dirty, sweaty, and tired, and all kinds of things, um, that is also an indication that there is an attack on your honor. And it's mostly it goes beyond that, depending on the nature of the dream. But... Um, this is an attack on your destiny, specifically on your honor. And this also goes into your marriage life. Um, this also represents um, um, the destruction of a covenant that has to do with marriage. So um, depending on the nature of the dream, um, you want to take careful note of that. I'm going to take a dream that was sent to me and then I would um, interpret that and then I'll come back to what I was saying. Someone said, someone said, I had a dream. No, yeah. Someone said, in my dream, I met Oprah at my job. She was very nice to me. I wanted to ask for her number, but was reluctant and didn't. When I left the exam room, she sent little, she sent little girl to come and discreetly tell me to come back into the room. When I got when I got in, I still didn't ask for her number. She left. This family friend of mine called me and I told her who I met at work. She told me to go look for her. She may be in the building and to get her number. As I was walking through the hospital building, it wasn't the hospital anymore. It was a jungle with monkeys just sleeping on trees. I wasn't really that afraid, just wondering why I'm seeing monkeys sleeping or snoring on trees. Kept passing through the jungle to look for Oprah, then I woke up. Well, this dream is very simple by interpretation. Um, God has opened a lot of doors for you. You are simply not entering those doors. You, you are not entering those doors. In fact, the translation of the dream goes on by saying that you are sleeping on your destiny. You are procrastinating your destiny. So this is um, a very simple dream in its um, definition. So um, you, you seeing Oprah does not necessarily mean that you are going to meet Oprah, but it means that um, there is a high opportunity, a high door that is open to you. 
um, if this dream is current, then you should know that you are still in that moment right now. God is awakening you because you are sleeping on your destiny, you are procrastinating on your destiny, and you are not making a move. Um, the next dream that was sent, I dream I was walking in the bush, and I see a lot of snake, but they were all running away from me. Okay, this is good in a way, uh, basically. Um, the dream in itself, you know, the presence of these snakes um, symbolizes, as I said before, um, a serpentine spirit, which in most cases is not good. In this dream, the presence of these snakes is not good. I did make a couple of examples before when I was teaching on dreams, and I said that, um, I mean, God has used a snake for, you know, for healing, medicinal purpose. Um, God said unto them, if you look on that snake, um, you shall be healed. You shall, you shall receive, you know, your deliverance, uh, basically. And so seeing a snake does not re always mean that something bad has happened. Um, and I said also when I was teaching that when you go to the hospital, you'll find out that a snake is wrapped around those metal. And that is the symbol of medicine, really. Um, and that has been the symbol of medicine for years. And it was taken out of... Um, the Bible, um, that was the Exodus experience in the wilderness. Now, this specific dream is a serpentine spirit. The good news is that this spirit is not attacking you, but this dream used to be in your life, but in your dream, there is a clear indication that you have been delivered from that spirit. Um, you have been liberated from that spirit, and that spirit is no longer functional in your life. That is why the dream went on in this way. Now, when you look at this dream carefully and what a serpentine spirit is and the nature of the dream, um, I don't know enough details of what is going on, but you want to pray about a couple of things. Um, now that your dream symbolizes deliverance, you want to capitalize on it. Pray on your marriage, pray on your finances, and pray for your children. Those are the three things you want to deal with when you are dealing with serpentine spirits. The next dream, someone said, I had a dream that, that Donald Trump entered my church and he was looking for me to assist him with something. I sat him next to me. I sat him next to my pastors. And after service, he asked me to take care of a young girl he adopted. He wanted me to style her and train her up. He said to me that he is considering that I will become, that I'll become the Senate. He only came to my church to bring that girl and asked me to consider becoming the Senate. Okay. Now, okay, evidently, once again, this dream does not mean that you are going to meet Donald Trump, which I think you should know that by now. Um, but this dream simply show that God has placed your destiny among people of affluence or people of influence. Um, God has placed your destiny in that realm. And God is going to lift you up for the benefit of his kingdom, for the benefit of his kingdom. In other words, he's going to place you in the corridors of powers. But, you know, I mean, but the dream indicates that there are a couple of things that you have to do, which are two things in the dream. Um, the first one is that um, you are supposed to invest yourself in charity. Um, you are supposed to invest yourself in charity. In other words, you, I, I don't know how to put this, but um, I mean, your destiny, you know your, you know, your blessings in life is tied to these two things. You are supposed to be a blessing to a charity. And the charity in question here shows um, the adoption of a child, an orphan, or whatever the case is. The other thing that your destiny is supposed to benefit once, God's, once God lifts you up has to do with um, blessing God's kingdom, promoting God's kingdom. So those are the two things. One second. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so if, if you have... Let me check my time. Okay. 
All right, if you have a dream, you can send it. Now, the next thing also is that um, if you dream and you find yourself driving a vehicle in the dream, which just stopped suddenly, um, it means that your breakthrough has been hindered. It means that there is a hindrance in your breakthrough. Um, a moving vehicle or an automobile or like a car, or whatever it is, um, those things normally symbolizes life, you know, the progression of your life. Um, I can't go deep into it unless I'm using a specific dream for it. Um, but then that symbolizes the progression of your life. If you are in a plane, you are in a moving car, you are in a stationary car, you are on a bicycle, you are on a moto, those things symbolizes the progression of your life. And in this case, if you are in a vehicle and the vehicle is moving, the vehicle just comes to a stop. It is an indication that there is a limit on your breakthrough and you need to pray about that. The next thing also is that if you dream and you are unable to cross a river, a strange river in the dream, it means there is a serious blockage in your way. The next thing also is that if you find yourself in the mall, in a dream, you find yourself in the mall or in a supermarket and then you roam around, you walk around the place and then you came out, you couldn't buy anything, basically. Now that is an attack on your finances. It symbolizes financial chaos. Um, the next thing also is that um, if you have a dream and somebody is cursing you in the dream, obviously you know what that means. It means that, um, I mean, your life is under affliction and you need to pray about it. Uh, basically, um, if you have a dream and you find yourself always seated in a classroom, you know that you are, you know, you are past that class, but you always dream and you find yourself in that classroom taking an exam and it goes on and on and you never finishes it. It is an indication of demonic stagnation. It represents that you are stagnant in life. Your life is not progressing. And that also brings about the spirit of frustration and discouragement in your life. Um, you'll find those things out that you are easily frustrated, you are easily discouraged. If, if, if you've been having this kind of a dream, you need to pray against the spirit of stagnancy in your life, um, basically. Let me pick some dreams that people are saying. Someone said, um, there is a question, or oh, there's a question. That, oh, sorry. Now, someone said, what do cars mean in a dream? Now, like I said, I'm very, very careful in just picking symbols and telling you what it means. Um, there are unclean animals that you can find in a dream, but the interpretation of the dream may change completely, which goes back to the book of Acts, where Peter had a dream, he saw unclean animals, like all the unclean animals that normally we will interpret it as a demon or in fact a demonic attack or an indication of something demonic. Peter saw all these animals in his dream. And then the Lord said unto Peter in the dream, kill and eat. And Peter said, mm -mm, I'm, not, I'm not going to eat this stuff. You know, this must be the devil telling me to eat these things. So Peter said, no, these things are not clean. I can't eat it. And then God said unto Peter, why are you saying that that which I have made is unclean? Now, those animals which were unclean represented those that are not safe, the Gentiles. I did mention to you a couple of days ago that a dog in the Bible represents a Gentile, someone that is not safe. Basically, that is what it represents in the scriptures. So in the scriptures, you hear words like beware of dogs. Um, that represents Gentiles. And so really by translation, the Jews used to look at Gentiles as unclean people. Um, the reason is because of the fact that they were not in the covenant of God. So I'm very, very careful when I pick an animal 
um, and just say that a snake in a dream means this, a cat in a dream means this, um, a lizard in the dream, I mean, those things are very, very dangerous. And, and even though I can interpret dreams by symbols, um, I, I have to check the environment of the dream, what is happening and what is going on before we can make those determinations. So I am not literally going to give any symbolic indication of a cat in a dream. Um, the reason is because of the fact that um, it's, I mean, it's a double-edged sword. It can go either way, depending on the nature of the dream. Let me pick one dream and let's move on. Someone say, I had a dream. I was on the train, but before I was about to get off, I fell asleep and missed my stop. When I woke up, I had to go back two stops in order to get to my destination, then I woke up. So this is what I was talking about, that if you have a dream and there is a moving vehicle, a plane, a train, a car, a motor, a bicycle, whatever it is, a vehicle, um, that is an indication of the progression of your destiny. That shows where your life is headed, where your destiny is going. So if the car or the train or the plane is stationary, that is an indication of where your destiny is at. Your destiny is stagnated, it is stationary, so forth and so on. Now in this dream, here we have something, someone had a dream, they were in a train, they fell asleep in a train, so now you are looking at where your destiny is at spiritually. Depending on how long ago you had this dream, you, you really want to start praying um, concerning your destiny to be awoken, your destiny to be stirred up, um, your destiny to be ignited, um, basically. Um, you want to start doing that because it looks like in this dream that uh, your destiny went back. You know, your destiny went back. In other words, the progression of your life went back um, and there is, you know, there is, you know, there is retrogression over here in your destiny. So there is a lot of things that you want to pray about. There is a place that you are supposed to be right now in your life. Your dream says you are not there. You are two steps behind where you are supposed to be in life right now. Which means that if you think that you are doing well now, then your dream is telling you that you can be two times better off than what you are right now. So start fighting very hard and praying very hard because there is more in stock for you. So someone continued the dreams about the cats. Uh, it says, the cats were chasing me, but I ran out, but I outran them. They started growing in size and numbers, but then I killed them one by one, except one cheetah, size one. But then I went back to sleep and killed that one in the night in relation to... Now, this is witchcraft spirit, uh, basically. So you, you do want to pray against the spirit of witchcraft. Um, I didn't... I was not hoping to interpret a dream of this nature. But um, this is a witchcraft spirit. I don't know how easy I can say it, but I just have to say it directly uh, without hiding anything. Um, so you need to pray about that spirit. There is, there, is, there is a witchcraft attack, not just one, not just two, but consistent witchcraft, which means that witchcraft is in your family. So be careful. Uh, my time is up, and I want us to pray this very day before we go. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. I want you to pray right now, join together with me right now, that God will give you the gift of the interpretation of dreams. God will release that gift for you right now. I pray together with you, and I pray with you now, that that gift is released on you. It is the will of God for you. It is the desire of God for you, that you have discernment, that you have the word of knowledge, that you have the word of wisdom receive high discernment in your life in the name of jesus christ receive that gift of discernment that the ability to interpret dreams will come to you will come to you quickly with full force in the name of jesus christ 
May the power of the Holy Spirit take hold of you and bless you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. Whatever you do today, let it prosper. Whatever you touch today, let it be blessed. Wherever you go today, may you receive favor in the name of Jesus Christ. May the favor of God come upon you. Come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed to the glory of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. Amen. So God bless you. Thank you all for joining us. Um, just so I end up by saying that the person who had that dream about um, the cats, um, the, I mean, the dream is good for you, but you have to know that there is witchcraft attacks in your family, but the dream is good for you. The nature of the dream was that um, you were over, I mean, you, you, were, you were able to overpower those spirits in your dream. So I want to leave with that encouragement and not close off by just the way I left it for you. Um, and so at the end of the day, you were able to overpower those spirits, uh, which is good. But the bottom line is that these are emerging spirits. Um, they are going to come again. So you just have to keep on praying about these things. It is in your family. If I were you, I will pray more about the salvation of my family because when there is witchcraft in the family, you don't pray, just attack, 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 because those spirits are going to be revived and they're going to come back again and again because, a risk, because that spirit of witchcraft is transferable. So those spirits are going to come back again. So what you want to do is to pray for the salvation of people in your family. When you do that, that spirit will not be able to stand and work in the family. So that should be a priority for you. Um, so I will leave it that way. So God bless all of you. Thank you for joining us. Tonight we are meeting in church in person. It is a half nine service. It is a warfare service. We are dressing in ammo green camo and we are coming for battle. Don't miss it tonight. It's going to be firework tonight. Uh, we're going to pray very, very strongly tonight. So join us in person today. Um, it's going to be from 6 p.m. I'm going to begin the prayers myself at 6 p.m. And then we're going to move on. I mean, we're going to pray a lot. Um, so don't miss it today. If you want the spirit of prayer upon yourself, join us tonight. God bless you and keep you. Amen. If you are blessed, just type in amen today. Type in amen. God bless all of you. And thank you so much for being, for being part of the prayer gathering today. Amen. I will see you on Monday. Amen.